Hello, John Rhodes here and welcome back. A big thank you to all of you that have subscribed to the channel. I do hope you're enjoying the content. I know I've been a little quiet recently, but I can assure you I'll be upping my game and releasing some interesting new cases in the near future. In this video presentation, I'm looking at a massively exciting combination case. We've got deep margin management as a result of external cervical resorption. There's a fractured instrument in one of the mesia buccal canals to retrieve, and we've got to retreat the tooth because it's associated with periapical periodontitis. So lots of exciting things to manage, all wrapped up in one case. I do hope you enjoy it. So here you can see the preoptive radiograph of the mandibular right first molar. The tooth has been root filled and restored with a crown. There appears to be distal caries and a fractured instrument in the mesial root. There's a chronic periapical abscess. Small volume CBCT clearly shows the position and location of the fractured piece of instrument and it should be quite easy to remove. So to recap on our pre-treatment assessment, there's caries distally, however this actually proves to be a resorption defect. There's a fractured file in the mesial root that we're going to have to remove. The root filling is short in all the root canals and needs to be retreated. And there's a chronic abscess, so the root canals are going to be infected and need to be disinfected thoroughly. We're going to start with some disassembly and management of the lesion that's present on the distal aspect of the tooth. Obviously in a case like this we need to remove the cast restoration and in fact I'm going to use it as a temporary at the end of treatment. So I've removed the crown, I've now removed the amalgam and here you can see some very old cotton wool that's lodged in the pulp chamber from the previous root filling. You'll notice that I'm using a split dam technique at this point in the treatment and this is so that I can manage the margins of the tooth distally. Here I'm using an LN burr to just tidy things up. I could equally have used an ultrasonic tip. Everything's looking a lot tidier now and we're looking under high magnification at the mesial canals and then focusing in on the distal canal. I'm starting to remove a little of the previous root filling using a Gates Glidden Burr number two. I'm using a DG16 endodontic probe to remove material from the distal canal. As the material is removed, you'll see there's bleeding occurring. I haven't perforated. This is where that distal lesion has perforated the root canal and it actually turns out to be a resorption lesion. I'm now going to use a diamond endo burr to expose the cavity which almost extends down to osseous level.
A stainless steel matrix can be used, subgingively, held in place with PTFE tape. The cavity was then filled with Dual Cure composite. I'm now removing the PTFE tape and I'll remove the rubber dam to revert back to a single tooth isolation. So now it's time to remove that fractured piece of instrument from the mesial root and in this case I used a fine Terucci ultrasonic tip and the broken tool remover, a loop technique from Circumed. Before attempting removal of the piece of fractured instrument, I confirmed the working length in all the remaining canals with an electronic apex locator and prepared them and tapered them with a reciprocating instrument. Three percent sodium hypochlorite was used as the primary irrigant during this case. Here I'm using a modified Gates Glidenburr to create a landing stage over the head of the piece of fractured instrument. Under high microscopic magnification you can clearly see the head of the instrument that we need to retrieve and I'm going to use my fine ultrasonic tip to the lateral aspect of the instrument to loosen it.
Having loosened a piece of instrument with ultrasonics, I'm now going to use a loop technique, the broken tool remover from Circumed, to retrieve the piece of instrument. As you'll see, this was quite difficult and it took four or five attempts before I was able to retrieve it. And finally, with perseverance and a firm grip on the piece of instrument, it is retrieved. A loop technique is a very neat and conservative way of retrieving pieces of fractured instrument from the root canals. Once preparation was complete, it was time to carry out the irrigation phase of treatment. And in this case, you can see beautiful convergence between the mesial canals. The tooth was obturated using a vertically compacted gutta percha technique and the access cavity sealed with a dual cure composite. So here's that pre-optive radiograph again showing all the hurdles that we had to overcome during this retreatment. The caries, the fractured file and the retreatment. Here's my post-operative result showing a good coronal apical seal and I've reused that crown as a temporary restoration whilst we're waiting for review appointments. This is the first review that was carried out at six months and it does show some evidence of osseous healing apically. The next review will be in one year. Well, I do hope you enjoyed that presentation. Stay tuned because there are going to be many more exciting cases in the pipeline. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and above all, enjoy your endo.